to evaluate one have one have one here yeah. one is zero point zero four raised to the power of s is equal to six to five zero point zero four same thing as four over one hundred raised to the power of s is two two five. Then four divide four divide uh, four is one. Four divide one hundred is twenty five. Raised to the power of s is six two five. So finally we have here we have uh, 25 raised to the power of minus s. Remember, if you express this, it's the same as the five raised to the power of minus s is equals to 25 raised to the power of 2. Because 625 is 25 times 25. So since the powers are the same, the powers are different but the base are the same. We say minus s is equals to 2 and x will be equals to minus 2. And s will be equals to minus 2. Take note, the first thing I did is to express decimal to fraction. I express the decimal to fraction. So 0 0.04 becomes 4 over 100. 4 over 100, which is 1 over 25. 1 over 25 raised to the power of s is 25 raised to the power of minus s. And 2625 is 25 raised to the power of, of 2. So the base are the same. s is equal to minus 2. For 2, you have 3 raised to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 81. If I express both sides, express both side, side in base three, you have three raised to the power of two s plus one is equals to three raised to the power of four because eighty one is three raised to the power of four. So the base are the same. So I have 2s plus 1 is equals to 4. 2s is equals to 4 minus 1. 2s will be equals to 3. s is 3 over 2. s is 3 over 2. 3. 32. This power 3s plus 2. Is equals to 16 raised to the power of s plus 1 over 8x. Cross multiply. Cross multiply. I have 32 to the power of 3s plus 2 times 8s. 8s will multiply this. That will be equals to 16 raised to the power of x plus 1. Now, the simplest base here is 2. The simplest base is 2 because 32 will give me 2 raised to the power of 5, bracket 3s plus 2. 8 is times 2 raised to the power of 3s is equals to 2 raised to the power of uh, 4, that is 16, s plus 1. So, if we open the bracket, open the bracket in the numerator, that is the powers, sorry, in the powers, you have 2 raised to the power of 15x, 2 raised to the power of 15x plus 10, 
times is plus plus 3x is equals to 4 times s is 2 raised to the power of 4x plus 4. So the days are the same. Cancel the base. 3s plus this, this is 18x plus 10 is equals to 4x plus 4. And by collecting like 10, I bring 18s minus 4x will be equals to 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6. So finally, so this will give you 14s is equals to is equals to minus 6 and s is equals to minus 6 over 14 which is minus 3 over 7 minus 3 over 7 27 3s plus 4 raised power 3s plus 4 times 9 raised power of 3 of s plus 3 is equals to 1. I take everything I express to base 3. 27 is 3 raised to the power of 3 into 3s plus 4 times 9 is 3 raised to the power of 2 into s plus 3. And you know that anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So this is 3 raised to the power of 0. So if we expand this, this will be 3 raised to the power of 9x plus 12 times 3 raised to the power of 2s plus 6 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 0. <coughs> so add this together. Add this and this because of uh, multiplication. So we have 3 raised to the power of uh, 9x plus 2x plus 12 plus 6 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 0. So I'll cancel the base. 9 plus 9 plus uh, 2x is equal to what? 11s. 11s. 11s plus 18 is equal to 0. So take 18 to the other side. 18 is 12 plus 6. We now have uh, 11s is equal to 18 minus 18. S is equal to minus 18 over 11. And that will be equal to that will be equal to 11 there is minus 1. 7 over 11. So now we are going to be looking at exponential equation involving quadratic equation. We are given solve 3 raised to the power of 2s minus 4 into bracket. 3 raised to the power of s plus 1 is equals to 27. Solution. Solution. 3 raised to the power of 2x minus 4 bracket 3 raised to the power of s plus 1 plus 27 is equals to 0. 3 raised to the power of s plus 1 is equals to 3 raised to the power of uh, s, 
can still reach power of 1. So our equation become so we have 3 raised power of n, x bracket 2. This is the same thing as 3 raised power of x, 2s. This is the same thing. 2 times s is what? It's 2s. Minus 4 into bracket 3 raised power of s times 3 plus 27 equals to 0. So we say let p be equals to 3 raised power of s, which means that anyway we have 3 raised power of s, we substitute p. So we we'll have to now become p square minus 4 bracket p times 3 will be equals to 27. So you have your p square minus 12p will be equals to 27 and p square minus 12p will be equals to, I'm sorry, yes plus 27, yes plus 27 equals to 0, equals to 0, plus 27 is equals to 0. So look for two numbers we multiply to get 27, add it together, give us minus 12. The number is P minus 9, bracket P minus 3 equals to 0. So P is equals to 9 or 3. But P is 3 to the power of X, 9 is 3 to the power of 2, or 3 raised to the power of 1. So x is equals to 2 over 1. So take note of it. First of all, I simplify this point to obtain 4. I say 3 raised to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 3 times 3 raised to the power of 1. So bring the equation, the equation, we write the equation as this. 2s is the same thing as s times 2. s bracket 2. So if p is equal to 3 raised to the power of x, anyway we see 3 raised to the power of s, replace it with p. So we have p minus 3 raised to the power of s is p times 3, that would be minus 12 plus 27. Look for two factors. Product is 27. And sum is minus 12. That will be minus 9, minus 3. So P will be equal either 9 or 3. So P is equal to 3 raised to the power of X, which is equal to 3 raised to the power of 2, or 3 raised to the power of 1. Number 2. Number 2. We have 5 raised to the power of 2X minus 10 raised to the power of 5X plus 25 is equals to 0. Solution, 5 to the power of 2s is the same thing as 5 to the power of s bracket 2, minus 10 to the power of 5x, plus 25 is equals to 0. So we have, let p be equals to 5 raised to the power of x, so that p square will be, minus 10p plus 25 will be equals to 0. If you factorize two numbers that we multiply, factorize, we have p minus 5 and p minus 5 equals to 0. We have p, 5 minus 5 times minus 5 is 25, minus 5 minus 5 is 10. So you have your p, is equals to 5 twice. P is equals to 5 twice. But, but P is equals to 5 raised to the power of X, which is equals to 5 raised to the power of 1. S will be equals to 1. How many times? Twice. S will be equals to 1.
one. We have we have four raised power of two herbs. Four raised power of two s is the same thing as four raised power of s bracket two. We know that. Minus 21 times 4 raised power of s plus 80 is equals to 1. Let p be equals to 4 raised power of x. If p is 4 raised power of s, then we have p squared minus 21p plus 80 will be equals to 0. Two factors. Two factors are 16 and 5. 16 and 5. Two things will multiply. That will give you P factorized. You have P minus 16. P minus 5. So we have P. P will be equal to 16 or 5. If you take it to the other side. Take it to the other side. So, but P is equals to 4 raised power of X, which is equals to 4 raised power of 2. So, we have S is equals to 2. Since 4 does not have relationship with 5 in exponential form, you can say 4 raised power of S is equals to 5. So, this gives us the final answer. Please give us the final answer. Now copy the following assignment and solve them. I have five assignments here. Simplify. 5 to the power of 2s minus 26 into bracket 5 to the power of x plus 25 is equals to 0. 2. Solve. 0 0.25 bracket 2s plus 1 is equals to 64. If Number three, if 1 over 125 raised power of 2s minus 3 is equal to 25 minus 2s minus 1, find the value of s. Then 4, we are asked to simplify 9 over 100 raised to the power of minus 3 over 2. Then 4, 16 raised power of 2s plus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power of x plus 1 over 8 to the power of 2s plus 2. So copy this assignment and solve them, get the answer. Follow the procedure that I've taught. Just follow the procedures that I've taught.